Hey guys, Mark here from back to Apple.com and today we're just going to take a very quick look at Sparrow Mail from Mac. Now my friend Tyler has done a full review of this on the Back to Apple website. So this isn't going to be in great depth. It's just a very quick look at what it looks like and the functions of it. Now the Sparrow Mail app is available in the Mac App Store for um, $5.99 um, in the UK and about $9.99 in the US. And also there is a free version of it here if you don't want to jump straight in and pay the full cost of it. Now it is a very great app if we go straight into it um, now. As you can see it is very minimal and it looks very much like Tweety if I bring up Tweety next to it. So you've got this um, bar down the side with everything that you need come in there. So as I said this is the client itself. Um, down the side as I said everything you need there. So you've got your inbox, start mail, sent mail, um, drafts, trash and search. Now if you wanted to find your folders if you've set up folders and things on your Gmail server you're able to get them from this little tab down here which gives you everything you need just there. You can add more than one account. Now I've got um, both my accounts for university and my um, business account as well in here. Um, to get up the screen view, bring it across like that. And if we just go into important emails in a minute, just to show you what it looks like um, inside and um, what the mail comes up like. So if we go in here, there's the mail itself. So easy to see. Again, with um, sending mail, very clean and very tidy. Same with reply, um, archive and delete. So there's not much more to say than that. The link will be down below for the full review on the Back to Apple website for this application. And there will be a link for the App Store. But you can just type in um, Sparrow Mail into the Mac App Store and you'll be able to find it no problem. So again that's just a quick look at Sparrow Mail. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. What would you like to see on the Back to Apple YouTube channel? Leave comments below.